All right, folks, the moment you've been waiting for. Cream the Rabbit finally has a toy in the Jack Pacific line. Uh, she has not had any kind of official toy release, aside from plushies, since the Toy Island figures. That's when the Sonic X anime was still in the air. Like, think about that. That's going way back. Um, I think it would have been too much to ask for a cheese minifigure to go in there. But um, for the next 2.5 inch wave, you can bet I want a Chow variant with a bow tie to be her cheese. Because it is just so weird to have cream without a cheese. Like, come on. How could you do that, Jax? How could you let that stand? So, Cream is a pure, well-mannered, and loyal friend to everyone she meets. She can traverse obstacles by using her large ears to fly and defeat enemies with the help of her cuddly chow companion, Cheese. They even mention Cheese in her character bio even though there's no Cheese toy yet. What were you doing? I, you know what? It's weird. I don't think that they've announced the next 2.5 inch wave, the one that comes out after Neutron. Maybe there was some kind of production delay. Like, maybe the, there was supposed to be a 2.5-inch wave that came with this one, but for some reason or another, development of it got delayed somehow? I don't know, that, that's my headcanon for the moment. Uh, but yeah, we finally have Cream, so let's get her out of the box and take a look at the figure itself. Cream the Rabbit is such an unusual character in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. She was first introduced in Sonic Advance 2 as what essentially amounts to the easy mode character, um, she has the ability to fly like Tails does, which also gives her the ability to swim. Uh, she can attack enemies from a distance by sending Cheese out to attack them. In fact, if you look at my YouTube channel, I, you can show a video I did where I actually defeat the final boss in that game without having to move from a single spot, thanks to that ability. And she's the only character in the video game canon, well, the only living character in the video game canon that actually has you know, a, a canon on-screen family. Her mother, Vanilla, who appeared at the end of Sonic Advance 2 and again at the end of Sonic Advance 3, making, you know, a grand two appearances in the video game franchise, you know, before being a character on the Sonic X anime. So, so that's really unusual. Like, she actually has a family. And, like, that's not... None of the other characters in the franchise have that. Like, they have, like... Sonic the Hedgehog is a franchise made up of found family. Sonic and Tails are, ki are kind of like brothers, even though one's a fox and one's a hedgehog. Amy Rose has never had any kind of on-screen family appearance outside the Archie comic. Knuckles is the last of his kind. Uh, you, um, and like, uh, you can make the argument that maybe, uh, in a sense, a Shadow is somewhat related to Robotnik, um, but... You know, again, he's like a clone. Like, like Robotnik's only living, his only genetic family members that have been on screen, Maria Robotnik and Gerald Robotnik, both died five decades prior. And then, um, and then, like, you have Sage, Robotnik's daughter, who is an artificial intelligence he created, not something he's genetically related to. Like, you know, it's so weird. Uh, but I've been talking for too long. Um... Yeah, it's, it's really unusual, like, what Cream represents. Um, I think she was actually made more, uh, aside from being, like, an easy mode character for the new video game at the time, she was really made to be, like, um, the, the simple child character for the Sonic X anime more than anything else. So, um, yeah, because, like, she, she featured way more prominently in the anime, um, and really, like, I, I felt like they didn't know what to do with her once once her obligatory appearance was out. Because, like, they stuck her in Team Rose in, um, in Sonic Heroes, where they basically gave her the worst voice actor that I've ever heard in any of the Sonic the Hedgehog dubs. I'm sorry, folks, but the... I, I, I like Sonic Heroes as a video game. I really did, even at the time. Even when I found the story a bit cringy, I always liked the gameplay for it. But oh my god, the voice acting for that game was not good. Uh, some of the characters were fine, but like three-year-old sounding Tails and, and helium addict Cream, oh god, it made me want to tear my ears off. Um, 
Okay, so the character has a very well-molded face. I like how her mouth is open with her little tongue there. It kind of reminds me of the Jazzwares classic Tails figure. And it, it works with her little accessory of the ice cream cone because, you know, lick, 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 lick. Um, this is probably a reference to her idle motion in Sonic Advance where uh, uh, she would stop and just, she would just pull out an ice cream cone and start licking it. I mean, it wasn't a double scoop thing like this, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's ice cream. Everyone loves ice cream. Uh, so, you know. Uh, but, yeah, like, if, if you're not going to include cheese, I guess ice cream would be the next thing. Because ice cream is canonically her favorite treat. So, um, all around, you see her ears are cast in a soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about accidentally snapping them. And all of her details seem to be painted. You got that thing on the back of her dress. You got her little floofy bunny tail. Oh, look at that. The bunny tail is articulated. They didn't have to do that, but they did. Um, she actually has gray panties. I think that's because they're trying to make it look like she's wearing something under her skirt that's not just a pair of panties. Because, uh, you know, it's okay for Amy Rose to have upskirts, but for Cream, like, she's only six years old. Oh, that's another funny coincidence that Cream is canonically six when six is the age that I was when I got the first Sonic the Hedgehog game on Genesis. That, that's the age I was when, this, when, the, when, the, when the Genesis was released. That's amusing to me. Although it came out in June, I was technically five, but I got it on my sixth birthday a few months later. Um, everything else seems to be the same as always. Universally jointed shoulders, uh, ball jointed wrists. Her hips are universally jointed, although they are impeded a little bit by the connection. Uh, she has knee bends with 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 a, a thigh swivel and ball jointed ankles. So she has all the points of articulation, and um, you know she can do it. Of course, with how with how short her stubby little legs are, it's not like you're going to get a significant action pose out of her. So I guess that's the review of the figure, nice and simple. But of course, we know we can't let this stand. I mean, this is the first time we're completing a team. In fact, she marks the completion of the last team. We officially have all four teams from Sonic Heroes. Rejoice, friends, rejoice. Uh, but first, we're gonna have to get this out. That's right, my custom cream. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you can see the proportions are clearly different. Um, it's like, this is like little six-year-old cream. I guess I kind of accidentally made, uh, like maybe 12-year-old cream or 11-year-old cream. Like, uh, a cream just before she hits puberty as opposed to, uh, sweet little kindergartner cream. Um, yeah, like, my, I use the official 3D models for her hands and feet from the game, so there, there's no, 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 uh, no mis uh, no surprise that they're very similar. I actually got the size pretty close. The shoes are only a tiny bit bigger. Uh, although the proportion is weird because her head is kind of big. Um, yeah, like I, I feel like um, it's not that she is oversized. I just feel like she has cute little chibi proportions, which they could probably get away with because you don't exactly see them uh, next to each other too often. Uh, I guess we could bring in one of the more grown-up characters as a size comparison. I mean, she does have a pretty good size next to Sonic. She's shorter than him, but, you know, like, you know, by a head. You know, she does look like a little kid standing next to a teenager. Nothing wrong with that. But I can't help but feel like, um, like her head's just a little bit oversized. Uh, hang on a second. A bit of a deep cut, but some of you may remember that my custom of cream doesn't use her actual model from the game. I instead used a rabbit avatar head and sculpted the ears on by hand. Here's one that's actually made from her official in-game model. And I went through a lot of effort to make sure that it was proportioned the same. Like, I made sure that her head is the same size as Tails' head. Like, at least so that their eyes match up. So that uh, it doesn't look like she has a giant head next to him. And you can see I, I printed her ear out too, like, uh, just for references sake. Which way does it go? Is it going this way? Yeah. So yeah, like, uh, a carefully measured, properly proportioned cream head. Like, next to the official one they made, it's a little bit smaller. So yeah, I feel like they made her head just a tiny bit too big. 
I mean, not enough that it's distressing, but enough that you notice it just slightly. I mean, uh, it's not like it's not like with Amy Rose where she was supposed to be four inch scale, but they instead made her actually four inches, where she looks huge next to everybody. But you know, just just a little bit noticeable, like like maybe she's five percent too big, maybe something like that. All right, so let's bring some so let's bring out some other stuff. And there is the Happy Family. Team Rose of Sonic Heroes fame. Um, it's great with this cream figure. We officially have all three, all four teams. Team Chaotix, Team Sonic, Team Dark, and finally Team Rose. Although I'm going to be using the generic Chow figure as a stand-in for the moment. So just pretend he has a red bow tie so he can be cheese. And... Look at that. Isn't that just a great little mashup? I mean, like, technically, like, this is the wonky scale trio, because Big, being canonically over six feet tall, should be a little bigger than this. And Amy, who is supposed to be foreign scale, but is actually foreign tall, should be a little smaller. But, you know what? I really don't care. They all look fantastic. Um, as far as action figure fudge factor goes in, these figures look great together. I absolutely love them, and I'm so happy that we finally have all four teams from Sonic Heroes. I know I said that before, but it's just, it feels so great to say that. Now, if we'll get an official Neo Metal Sonic figure, then we can finally complete the whole thing. Um, and uh, we can always add in Team Babylon, uh, so we need Wave and, and Jet, Wave and Storm. Um, we can add Team Hooligan, since Knack the Weasel is coming in the next Sonic game, Sonic Superstars. Then we can revive Team Hooligan, uh, which would include Bean and Bark. Um, let's see, I think those are... Oh, we can, we can add the Hard Boiled Heavies and the Deadly Six, why not? <laughs> uh, I'm going crazy now, but yeah, let's, let's do all that. Let's just do all of that. Um... Okay, so I know a lot of you people are waiting for this video to end so that you can watch the next one, which I'm pretty sure the most people are looking forward to. Let's get into Infinite. See you next time. This is Wake Angels 2001 signing off.